the relationship dynamic crossover in that conversation is hilarious. <laughs> every single time, man. Every single time. Um, I want to have this. Go on. My God, go on, lad. I want to have this conversation. It's so what you call it, like. I was just on Joseph Parker's um, Insta like the other day, like saw him with his family, beautiful picture and stuff. And I was like, what's, what are we doing? Like, what's, what are we going to do after all of this? After, after a great night, yeah? Where, after a great, where are we going with this? You know, because I know they've been talking about it. It's mad. They've been trying to make the um, Zhang fight with Deontay Wada. Even and I know uh, to go with your what you call it to go with your theory that my man is there just to ruin Deontay Wilder's life. If, <laughs> Malik Scott, Malik Scott. If if Malik Scott fed Deontay Wilder to Zhang, I would say, Trav, you got him. You might have a point here. <laughs> you got a man who is pulling up to the funeral. You know that picture of the guys at the funeral, like I'm here to see that he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> In that, yeah, in that situation, I'll say if, if they feed him to Zhang, yeah, we know exactly what this is. This is this is someone is purposeful because your neck after losing to Parker, your next fight is can't not be uh, it's it, not it can't be a it can't be a heavy hitting southpaw. Why would you that doesn't make any sense? All, we, all that's happening, we you know what we need to do for yeah. the real origin of this story arc. We gotta go and somehow get a fly on the wall camera in that Malik Scott changing room after that fight with Wilder. Because yes. I imagine he sat in there and said, I'm gonna get him. And then trainers like, look, man, we're gonna work our way around, see if we can get a rematch, maybe get another shot. He goes, No, 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 I don't mean boxing. I mean I'm gonna get that man. I'm gonna get him. He goes, I'm gonna get into his life and I'm gonna blow that shit up from the inside. <laughs> He's sitting thinking, no, 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 long term revenge, long term. I'm saying, game. Are you saying this is a Malik Scott changing room? Yeah, Malik Scott changing room. He's in there just going, oh, I'm going to get into the camp. I'm going to take over the camp and I'm going to undo all the great shit that he does and I'm going to turn him into some bullshit. <laughs> and that's all we've seen since this Bro, relationship started. Right now, yeah, even when... Because obviously he, he always draws a spider diagram of how he's going to get it done. Yeah, spider diagram for um, Zhele Zhang must have looked so crazy. Wilder went in there and said he came in there. Why well, you always in the mood? You know he's got his sunglasses and then he goes, "Call it off." <laughs> you know when you look at the thing, you look at the spider diagram and it's going across two whiteboards, fam. <laughs> two whiteboards of information, yeah, and it's on. just and it's pure random shit as well. It's just like what? <laughs> Keep the vibe great. <laughs> do what you got to do, baby. <laughs> Heavy number line, number line, big right hand. <laughs> number one, great costume. He like, bro. <laughs> bro. And there's another one say, fuck Mark Breeland. <laughs> fuck water. <laughs> and another line, number line, AJ's scared. You know he's scared. <laughs> he's like, this is the game plan for Zhang. Come on, man. Just look at it. Take it in. Take it in. Meditate on it. It's just nonsense yeah. going on in the camera. <laughs> Call it off. Call it off. <laughs> that man said, look, hit this ayahuasca one more time. He said, I'm not doing none of this no more. <laughs> so then up steps. So this is it. So up steps. Um, apparently, Parker is the name that they are considering. Like, my, thing uh, is, my thing is this, yeah. You fun. just got a win over Deontay Wilder, yeah? Which is one guy who is essentially solidified Fury's brand. And you just starched him in just clean every round, smooth Absolutely. work. Beautiful. Your stock, you should want everything that everybody else is talking about. Nothing Absolutely. in you should be out here on some, yeah, Zhang. Da, da. Bro, I want a shot at the belt. Why not? Why wouldn't you? That's my thing is, how did Andy Lee... Having Andy Lee as the guy sitting next to you saying Tarson Fury is absolutely the best. That's Go not on. productive. That's Speak someone on. who need that's someone who's who's friends. I'm talking like the friends away from boxing. The man I'm in the group chat that still send you nonsense memes that go, hey, Joe. <laughs> them men don't talk to you like Joseph Parker. Them men call you Jay. Hey, Jay, what guy, bro? You could why you should I want to see a you and Usyk now, bro. I think you could why why couldn't you take him on? I would have seen you in Fury. You and Fury, you know my man. You've been in camp with my man. Bro, now would be the time to head top him. Yeah. I don't really yeah. like how you're there as yeah. his brethren. 
or, he, or oh. even Joseph's wife to just say, listen, Strong I don't really like, I don't like how this, this relationship you got with my man because you sh you could be him, you could have that. Yeah, you've got to get planted. MCs, no, right now, and I think we're doing well to plant these seeds right now ourselves. But then, like, because he should, Parker should be saying to himself, I've just won, and there's no value. We're not putting enough value on your win. We talk about this guy like he's the boogie man, like he's the main, he's the main guy. We put the ultimate respect on Wilder's name, and look what you did to him. You mash him up. So and now, that. no one predicted you to win. No one. So now, might have been a few men on Twitter. Might have been a few men, but it wasn't the overwhelming choice. Not like that. Not like that. So now, yeah, not like that. Actually, very important. We say not like that. Yeah. So now we're in a situation where you just won in the you won in Riyadh, yeah, and you no, know, where's, where's the where's the hype? Where's the talk? Where's the? I remember when Joe Joyce beat Parker. It was loud. He said, "What about AJ?" It was loud. What, what do you remember? It was like, it was loud. What you They're talking about the size of his head saying that uh, it's unnatural. Like, he can't be knocked out, can't be stopped. There was so much talk. They said, why is he not getting the contract to fight in the, what you call it? There was so much talk. And the PR was pr in. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And then, obviously, it's got squashed um, by my man. Yeah? But then, they done the work. In here, there feels like a reluctance to, to do the work. So Thank then you. after you ask yourself, well, what's going on here? And you look at your people in your team, Andy Lee, and he say, what do you call it? You say, oh, he's not for it. That's strange. And Why you're, would you just, you're just saying no one will beat Tyson Fury. Well, hold on. I'm a heavyweight. He's a heavyweight who's done something fantastic. Former champion. A former champion. If anyone, if you should be drumming up, but then it's like, either you lot don't want that money don't want that money or you don't believe in this fighter and i think it's just it's a shame it is a shame i'll tell, I I tell, it... tell you what happens if, if fury is to make a i'm not fury joseph parker is to make a play at becoming a one becoming a, a potential star and somehow forcing himself into the conversation he's got to get loud and unfortunately it might mean parting ways with andy lee because if andy lee's not going to walk you to fury you're going to need someone around you that's going to walk you in that direction with gusto. Absolutely. And Absolutely. you just say, listen, I can't be friends with you no more. It is where it is. I'm not your backing dancer, bro. I'm like, on I'm on smoke. You're talking about you'll never fight me. I'll absolutely fight you. So change your perspective because we've got to do this. Because what are we in this for? If Tyson Fury gets all those belts and doesn't want to retire, so what are you going to do? Just sit there and just walk around the block for a bit? Oh, that's look nice. Can I hold one? Yeah, let me let's have a little let's have a cheeky fire in there just to stay at what are we doing? Yeah, it's a it's an embarrass it's a big embarrassment, man. And I like I've been just waiting. I've been waiting to see what happens, where it goes from here. And I was like, bro, like wonderful, beautiful family, like and it's like, bro, like you're not even in the proper nice guy. You're not even in the you're a great guy, you're not even in the mix, like and it it makes no sense to go and do what you did on that day. And for it to go like that doesn't make sense. And again, another thing that doesn't make sense, imagine just to wrap it up, because I feel like maybe people lost their minds when they went to this um, festival, or when they went to this fight, because the day of reckoning, imagine making money that you you never imagine, and then doing a carjacking, being involved in the, what do you call it? I, bro, 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 bro. I said, I said, I, we're in a simulation. We're in a simulation, bro. So you yeah. don't call out. You've you know won the thing here. And then you, you what left. I'll tell you Big what that money. is. Go on, talk to me. He spent all of his money in camp heading into the fight. And you know the ones there where you, in your in the irresponsible financial days, you blew all the peas on the way in knowing that money was coming. So you're there outside with no bread, knowing that these men have covered everything. Everything's nice because you know on Monday, that's normally when you get paid. Sunday's come, the man said, payroll's already gone through this month, so we're going to sort that out. We're gonna, you're still going to get your money. Don't even worry about that. Matter of fact, we'll put a, a cheeky 10% on top, but it's going to have to go through the system next month. So, yeah, you'll see that. Now he's thinking, wait, wait, hold on. I'm going home with no bread. I've got no bread to survive. <laughs> he's Richard Foley, but just said, hey, yo, I got to move, bro. <laughs> what you think? <laughs> he goes up, down. Let's get straight to it. <laughs> he goes, I got 25 bands. 
I got 25 minutes for you, baby. <laughs> he goes, all right. Then man outside, done the move. And he's going to jail as someone that's probably expecting 10 M's invoice to be paid in a couple of weeks. It's the ugly, <laughs> it's the ugliest situation. You told me that don't make no sense. I said, I looked at that and I said, because I asked these kind of questions. I, you know us in the, you know what we're doing it. And I said, listen, speculation kings. I said, something's off here. My guy went to take a fight, yeah, with um the guy that was saying it's the most, most dangerous cruiserweight in the world right now. We're saying that he's just... Oh, Zorro. Said, yeah? Zorro mm -hmm. said, this P is enough for me. <laughs> Zorro, <laughs> said, Zorro said, first round knockout, let's go. I'm I'm going, yeah. Then he, he and then he's like done a post with the family, just saying, "Look, man, I, you know what I mean it's all for them. Look at my life, yeah. They go, so they, and I get that, and I I, I look and say, I say, good boy, well done. I hear it. I hear then it. Then you're you're involved, yeah, because in that day, on the day of reckoning, the fight everybody was talking about was after um what the fight everyone was talking about was you versus Dubois. It was mm. it was heavy. We were mm. all interested. We knew you was getting paid. You was doing your job in terms of, in all the presses, bro, you were actually the whole build-up, if you want to talk about it. Mm -hmm. So for, to, to go from that to losing, to doing a move, no weapon, yeah? Hey, <laughs> something's right. Something's in the water. Bro, you, 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 there's something in the water. Something's not right. But you also you got to think, how scary is that? When you look up by your driver's side window, <laughs> it's big baby Miller. And this giant head <laughs> going, get out of the car. <laughs> what? No, where are you going? Bro, no, I'm you telling you right now, you'd be, you'd be so scared. You'd make the thing worse because your body just shut down. You'd be in shock. you like, get out of the car. And you just hear like, I'm trying. No, no, no. I think I'm going to be, because if my thing is, I you look freakishly, you don't look like a normal civilian. Yeah, so I'm like, I'm being robbed by an NBA. I'm first, I'm being robbed by an NFL player. First, I'm trying to work out. I know you are not like a normal civilian. You're not yeah? a normal one. And then, one of us. And I know I've seen your face somewhere. Oh, you the timeline. You robbed me. You robbed me, and you were just on TV, if, <laughs> if not 20, 48 hours ago, and you were losing to. <laughs> I'll just be like, listen, I'm Dubois cousin. That's my cousin. <laughs> listen, I'll tell you right now, yeah. Certain times, because if one of the ones you say, listen, getting out of this car with him standing there is going to be incredibly painful. I'm hard locking this thing to the right. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going for them calves, boy. You best move those toes because <laughs> this is happening. <laughs> All right. But then let's break down the piece, yeah. Surely, no matter what car it is, yeah. He could get more money from fighting at York Hall because let's all right, let's finish the move. We sold the car. How much again? We took we made that. watch, watch. It's like forty five thousand dollars. Yeah, bust out of that. It's not even just two men. He's the one that's phoned you, but he's involved with another group of guys. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah, the bust yeah. out of four ways. Forty. You you got ten ten k, ten thousand dollars, and now you on the way home. You know you just sit there with that piece of the table, which is like. I did a lot for that still. <laughs> I don't really think. Have you ever done? You know when you do your own show. You know when you do your own show, yeah, and the money's stuck in that um, shubs or whatever that thing is, and you got the you got the right you got the Riyadh money waiting to clear. Man. You got the Riyadh, and you're like, why did I do this for this? The Riyadh this money is the Riyadh money is about to land, fam, and I'm here. And do people this. are texting you, still going, man, that's crazy, man. I thought, listen, man, next time out, you really got it, and you're there thinking. I just thought I'd move. <laughs> I just thought I'd move.